Good morning. It's baby dedication day. We are on our way to church. On time. Hoping that little man will fall asleep on the ride to church. He'll sleep through church. I highly doubt that will happen, but that is the plan. Oh, that was a big speed bump, honey. Sorry. <laughs> so why is it that on a regular Sunday, you're just getting up to go to church, not a big deal. Everybody's dressed and ready and out the door with, you know, right on time, no stress at all, anything like that. But if it's like Easter Sunday or Dedication Sunday, you know, any other important Sunday, it's like frantic. Everybody's just, <laughs> nothing ever works out right, you know. Every, the nothing's, nothing's ready. For some reason you get up two hours before you have to leave and you start getting ready and you're still running late. We're on, we're running on time, we're on time though. But I'm just wondering the, the science behind Church Sunday Chaos. Sunday church chaos. Not to mention that it's raining, which is super annoying. We're getting Yay. the outer, outer bands of Hurricane Harvey. What a terrible name. Anyway, we need to stop talking so this baby falls asleep. You need to be mindful that you are modeling the faith for him. And so I ask you today, do you make that commitment? Do you make the commitment to pray for Gabriel, to love him, to enjoy him, but to help model the faith of Jesus Christ so that he can see it and that he has no shadow of a doubt that there are people in this world that the God of grace works through and lives in. Will you do that? If so, say, we will. We will. All right. Amen. Do you make the commitment? that you will love Gabriel with all the love that God gives you. That you will teach him about the love of God and about how to live in this world as one of God's people. And will you keep him within earshot of God so that he can hear the stories of Jesus Christ and understand the love that created him and called him to be part of your family? If so, would you say, we will? <laughs> all right, buddy, we're so proud of you already. And we bless you right now, Gabriel, Jacob, Sharp, Upshaw. May you know that you belong to Christ the Lord. And may He make you strong and wise, following Him all the days of your life. Right? Look at him. He says, right? favorite restaurant, Los Portales. This restaurant is very special to us. We ate here the day we got engaged. We had our rehearsal dinner here, and when we lived here, we ate here every Sunday after church. So it was only appropriate, and then several times during the week. It was only appropriate that we come here after Gabriel's dedication. So we got a giant table, had a lot of food. I'll show you a special thing out in the lobby too. Football and BB. He comes up. There's Gabriel. He is about four hours overdue for a nap. And he is like the top of Charlotte's shirt and glasses. You guys thought I was kidding, but look at this. We are literally on the wall at this restaurant. This is our rehearsal dinner. Oh, well, all that stuff is done. And we're back at my parents' house. And my mother does estate sales for a living. And she's very lucky this time because She's doing a sale at a house across the street. And that's where we're headed now to get our little private preview of the estate sale before, you know, the actual sale. 
Should be interesting. Yeah. Y'all, this guy had excellent, excellent taste in movies. Look at these VHS tapes. Good sir. Look at all the bills. Flatliners. The original one, not the terrible remake that's about to come out. Easy. That's right. I'm in. Top Gun, The Stand, Tremors 2. Tremors 2. It's not Trigger's yeah. Armageddon, Trigger's Starship no, Troopers. Oh, we're going the wrong direction. Yes. This is Follow awesome. Me. Turn its it's face a, towards me. It's a reamer. Yeah. It's an, a vintage reamer. You squeeze it, put your oranges on there, the juice yeah, goes down, cool. strains through the hole, comes in here, and you pour your lemon oh, juice out. Be all the rage. It's made in Japan. I love the, um, Probably the from the 50s. Bars. It's a clown head juicer. Yeah, it's a clown head juicer. Figurines. Figurines, 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 owl figurines, and more figurines. These people like their figurines. I've deviated from the official tour and discovered the coolest bathtub faucet ever. It looks like a telephone. I wonder what they used to store in that box. Well, that was cool. I grew up across the street from that house, so it was neat to go inside and see what it looked like. So, interesting. Now I'm gonna go pay Grandma one more visit before we head back out of town, because I think it, that time is getting close. Of course, it's pouring down rain at the time to leave. So, we're gonna hit the road and leave this hurricane behind in our wonderful Louisiana weekend. So we hope you enjoyed our videos uh, today and over the weekend. If you liked them, give them a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel to see more. And click the bell so that you get the notifications every time we post new videos. And leave us a comment. Share some love with us. So, and tell your friends. Tell everybody you know about our channel and they should all subscribe. <laughs> see y'all next time.